Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and we're back with the weekly roundup. For those of you who haven't seen the weekly roundup, effectively what we do is we get new guitars in, we handpick six of them we think are interesting, and we talk you through them. So, let's get into the first one. First up, we're looking at an Eastman guitar. This is the AC622CE. This is a gorgeous guitar, I mean, the woods alone look incredible, and then on top of that you've got these excellent inlays as well, they just look brilliant. Look at that flame maple on there. Right, let's head on through to the next one. Okay, we're going a bit traditional with this one. We've got a Martin 00028. Now, these are great guitars, but when we get them through with wood grain like this, it's really wide, just as you can see there. We just have to tell everyone about it. Right, let's check out the next one. Well, I say next one, we've actually got a batch in. So, fresh from Fender, we've had some of the new American Vintage 261 Strats in, in Fiesta Red, our favorite color here at the shop. Right, let's grab this one out and have a look at it. I mean, surely that is the Strat that everyone wants, right? I think Fender got it spot on with that one. Let's go through to the posh room. Next up, offerings from Gretsch, a Richard Forter signature model. This is the G6636T. So he has a couple of signature models. This is the one with the Bigsby on it. If you've never played one of these, they feel oddly familiar, I think. Gretsch's have this really nice modern feel, but still with nice rounded neck profiles, so they're very comfortable. Okay, next room. Oh, in fact, while we're on our way there, there was another guitar from this room I hadn't mentioned. The SB55, this is the DC, the double cut model. I mean, that is a great take on a classic model. And the nice thing about these is they're super lightweight too. Okay, it's sad because we're gonna check out our final guitar now. Housed in our vintage room, we've got an Epiphone E452T. This is the Sorrento model. It's from the late 60s, I think it's a 67, 68. I mean, in that cherry finish. And this is pretty much all original. I think it's had a, um, uh, a neck reset on it, which changes the angle of the neck to make it a lot more playable. But I mean, what a great guitar. It's been you know, looked after so well over the years. And I mean, look at that, it's just great. Do I need to say any more? Anyway, that is the end of this weekly roundup. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want to find out any more about the guitars in this video, the links will be in the description below.